today, guys, is a return of the challenges. As you guys know, in the past, I used to do countless challenge videos. So today, I am bringing them back. And we are starting with building a six-story house. But each room is six by six and a different style. And a wheel is going to be deciding the style. So we're going with the whole shabak. But let's stop dancing and get on with the challenge. I guess we can title the plot Slender House. Let's do this. So first things first, I'm going to get out my handy little fence. And we're going to mark out six blocks. Wait, what? This is six blocks? This is tiny. How am I meant to fit anything in here? Ooh, that's kind of small. But also, does the bottom floor count? Like, can I do the garden here as well? Because I want to make it look quite aesthetic. And then the rest of the floors, I guess, are just going to be chunked on top of this. So that is the most interesting sort of shape I could come up with, as we can have some balconies and stuff. And if you're wondering how we get six floors, basements. It's that simple. The basement game passed. I guess we should start off with the roofs and the balconies. Now, I don't know why we have so many balconies. Like, is this some sort of sightseeing house? What are we looking at? Trees, guys. I've never seen them. So, we'll start with the bottom floor. So, it's been a while since I've spun this wheel. Let's see what the ground floor is going to be. Royal! Okay, guys. We're going to be stepping foot into Buckingham Palace in here. I suppose having the ground floor as royal is really good because we can have, like, a really grand staircase in here. For the staircase, you might think I'm going to go be a basic chum and just shove in this or something. You're basic. But no, even though she is kind of looking slay, we're going to go and do a custom build hack because otherwise this video would be about two seconds long. We've got to do some cool things with it. This is a little building hack I learned in my viral TikTok video. So you're going to get yourself a re left recessed U stairs. What you basically do is you grab yourself a good old basic cube. You just basically fit this in. And since it's royal, I'm going to go for a nice fancy wood. And then they love their whites and blue. Ooh, a royal blue. And then you're just going to resize it to be exactly the same as a step. And then I hope the rest is pretty self-explanatory. And wait, we're in the basement. What is below the basement? We are officially in Bloxburg Abyss. What? But also proof that there's another floor under here. Let us have it, Bloxburg. Finally, guys, to neaten it up, I just used a few structural beams. I just realized you can't really add railings to it, but we can add a few. There can be some railings. Next up, the floor is going to be checkers. That goes without saying. And as I'm placing this floor, guys, snack of the day. My snack today is a raspberry tart. I know. How fancy could I get? For the walls and the wall trims, I feel like if you know me by now, this is so predictable what I'm about to do. But I'm going to grab a convex painting and these make amazing wall trims, guys. And unless you want it to look like something out of 3D printer, I would advise shoving it in a little bit. But before we add them, we should definitely add the windows. You'd think I'd be predictable here because if you didn't know, I always add these windows, which are basically factory windows outlined in white. Now, of course, I will have some of these, but you guys have been tal challenging. You guys have been tasking me with trying to do that on these windows. Now, I don't know if you think I'm a Lasta woman or something. I don't think structural items really like going in ovals. However, I will try it for you chickens. Um... Yes, guys! I think for these, we might just have to have them as their basic selves, but I still think that looks amazing. And since this is a small room, we can't just be doing like a basic layout in here. We've got to fill up every crack. <laughs> That sounded so wrong. I mean, like, every nook and cranny. Perhaps for the lighting in here, we could actually do, like, a, a couple of these expensive chandeliers, treat ourselves. This doesn't really even feel like Bloxburg, does it? I feel like I'm in Brookhaven or something. Alrighty, so the typical things that you'll have in a grand entryway, first of all, a piano. And on a more normal level, you would probably have some of these bookcases. And once again, I'm just sticking with these neutral white colours. And oh yeah, I was meant to be keeping track of how much I spent on each floor, right? Hopefully I remember to do that. And I want you guys to comment down below your guesses for how much this is going to end up costing at the end. And whoever gets closest, I'll give you a nice like. And by the way, guys, I've been trying to reply to comments more lately. I hope you've noticed. But it's just the only reason I ever don't is because I'm so busy. I mean, why was she work? actually Like, of course, making videos is not that sure. hard. It's actually really fun. And I'm pretty, on this when side, I'm doing, we'll like, just have a sofa. That's the only on thing the that side. just it makes can sense. be, like, quite hard to reply to everything. I'm kind of theming this around what I think Queen Victoria would have liked. If you didn't know, Queen Victoria was Queen of England for, like, 60 years. Why was she actually slaying in that big dress though. Also, you guys brought to my attention. See, I do read the comments. You brought to my attention there was actually a plain version of this plant. Now, if you didn't know, this is my favourite plant, but I've always complained about this weird colour. But I didn't know right next to it and what? This is a third of the price as well. What the hell are you paying for? This actually looks way nicer anyway. And then I finished up with umbrella stand, hat stand, everything you'd expect. 
And I'm not going to give too much away before the tour, but I did remember, guys, we're going to check the price of each floor. 60,000 drums. We cannot keep going like that. And we did actually forget the outside, but this was pretty simple. Let's find out what the next floor design is going to be. Just keep spinning. Just keep spinning. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. Oh, I can't tell what one it's on. Stylish. So I'm going to look up stylish. And we did say lounge room was next. I think I want a mixture between this and this. <gasps> okay, so we'll start off immediately with wall trims. I don't know why. I'm just getting the vibe. We'd have a nice feature wall of these. And if we look back at our inspo pick, look at that floor, guys. So I was thinking we should only have that floor in like the main bit. We could almost have this as like two rooms, just like maybe a little separate seating bit in there. And the reason I was being so suspicious about that is because look at this, guys. A lot of people forget that you can actually resize these. So next up, we'll add windows. And since it's such a small room, once again, I'm thinking maybe actually we should have like two massive windows. And I, oh, for a couple of hours. And I, oh. But I am back in action. So once again, they have this gorgeous, like, that's giving Kim Kardashian sofas. So it may come as a surprise to you that I'm going to be using this sofa. I have never, I don't think, ever used this. But it's basically just going to act as a template for us. So we'll make it all completely white. And then to make the cool curves on it, I'm going to use a convex straight cube. And then to add all of our special plump decorations, really that the best way to make this look good is to go random. And I feel like since we're so stylish, guys, if you remember these chairs, I don't know how we're going to make them other than using these oval armchairs. But they were sort of the closest I'd say we have is this, which always just gives me Damon Salvatore vibes. Hello, brother. And even the design on this was like a really cool, like, greeny pillow. But the whole point of this challenge is for me to sort of step out of my comfort zone a bit and try these new styles. And I was about to go place that Victorian table. That was my old habits coming in. Instead, we actually need cylinders to create this awesome table they had, which had, like, a few stubby lumps down here. And as I said, we're gonna have to use lemons, because Bloxburg hasn't got a bowl of oranges, which is really weird when you think about it. Why lemons, Bloxburg? Why lemons? Since this is the lounge room, we of course need to add a TV. And now we've really got to think what else stylish could go in here. So we've been given the lemons. When life give you lemons, make a stylish living room. No, although we have been given them, we need to think of other cool ideas. And did you know, guys, Bloxburg has a hidden Xbox. Technically, it's called a receiver. I think these look like Xboxes. I don't know why I've added six, but I'm going to make the roof of this brick. I don't know why I feel like that perfectly suits it. We have run in to our first little um let's say issue i forgot the stairs i forgot the stairs but i think we do have a garden out here maybe we could put some stairs in the garden and then this room actually has purpose it goes outside and then we'll actually go even further to outline it so it looks a little bit more prestigious and beautiful i think the only thing that's going to work is a stylish staircase let's just pray to the lord that this matches whatever comes next please lord which just so happens to be <gasps> bohemian now if you don't know what bohemian is because to be fair it's a very specific style and it's similar to stylish but it's very autumnal it's very greens i'd actually say my emerald life house is a bit bohemian and yeah this is this is perfect i will change the wood what the hell is going on here what is the oh my gosh that must have just been a glitch that looks really cool though actually and part of me wants to like use these because they kind of fit in the wooden vibe but no i won't i know you guys would get really mad at me so we've already established reese's gets his wish i get to go and add in some panels and for the windows in here i'm gonna add just a gigantic one no holds barred i mean i will outline it don't worry guys i'm not crazy we can't forget to add the stairs in so you know what we'll add these ones here and then that way it sort of all syncs up perfectly together i like that i like it a lot i it's nice. It's different. So nice. It is nice. It's different. It's unusual. It's different. It's unusual. It's unusual. It's unusual. It's and this also means we can have some more of my big daddy windows. Now, I can't get carried away because you guys know I'm addicted to this style. We've got to make sure we keep it bohemian. So I was thinking as a start, we can make one of the walls literally this plank color. But I'm going to be layering the iconic Boxburg tiles. And then I'm going to be trying to find a tile that kind of matches well with this. For the dining table, I think the hairpin dining table. Table. Like almost yellowy kind of. Wow, that's actually perfect. Yes, people. This table is so nice and it was made in England. Oh my gosh, made in England because I'm from England. That's so cool. Then the table runner, once again, we've got to look what they have. A lot of plants and just jars and stuff. This one went mental, mental, chicken oriental with their decor. I mean, I kind of want to do it though. We could, I guess, just use these weeds. And did you know you can actually resize these? So if we make these like flat and then an actually nice color to look at. Wow, I love this. I'm going to keep that the default color as well because it kind of looks 
jungly and stuff. Have I just walked into an Instagram girlie's house? This is like so nice. Look, guys, I have not forgotten about that really cool console table I pointed out earlier. We'll make it the same color. Oh my gosh, I love this. And then we'll put that this side. Then we're gonna use this sun mirror. I have a mirror very similar to this in my house. It's actually one of my favorite mirrors. I'm kind of feeling like a little bit of adventure today. So I'm gonna get a custom curtain decal. <laughs> Forget custom curtains, guys. Let's just use Bloxburg's curtains. I then think these lights are giving Bohemian Rhapsody. <gasps> Wait, isn't that a song, Bohemian Rhapsody? <laughs> I swear it's like, Mama! Mama! I've added these cool wall lights, and this is so special. I don't know why I've spent like a million years on this tiny little room. Then we sort of have like this crevice under here, so I might make this for the kids or the short people among us. And yeah, this is basically perfect. However, since I did mention earlier how we were gonna be going above and beyond with the detail, I'm just gonna add one further shelf unit. And this has kind of just gone to a bit of an interior only build, hasn't it? Because what is the exterior? What the hell is even that? I mean, I guess we could add some windows here. So we only have three styles. What do we think the next one's gonna be, guys? I'm putting my bet on rustic. I don't know why I feel like it will just be rustic. No way! That makes it look like I just cheated, but I genuinely just guessed that. And what better than a rustic kitchen? And also, it's perfect the kitchen is on this floor, because look at the mess we've made with these curtains. I think a rustic might have, like, this wooden fence on it, and I'm basically just gonna be using the panel windows. The door to get out is gonna be just a simple archway, and oh gosh, I forgot actually, I messed this up, so we're gonna have to be quite clever and actually have this. This is actually gonna have to be like um, a walkway, because you go straight through this and then straight through there. I guess the only thing we really need out here is maybe like a, a swinging bench. Looks cute. Once again, I'm not forgetting a staircase this time. And we better hope whatever room's above here is going to be modern because I've just put a really modern staircase. Now we'll go into counters and we're going to make this a very like farmer kitchen. Like I feel like you'd walk in here and it'd be like a, a group of bikers or something. A lot of people have the perception that bikers are just like on the road all the time. They have no money. Do you know how much a flipping motorbike is? Some of them are like 20 grand. So we're going to be making sure that we add like the dark double oven, like a nice big unit here. They're gonna be rich. And there's something about this default color that is kind of doing things to my grooves. I'm actually really thinking we could use it if we just like ever so slightly alter it. So we've put my little sink in over here and the appliances I think blue and white. I never normally do colored ones, but I think it matches today. And then I also found this like slab of wood. I thought I wanted to put like sort of just behind this cookery unit and I'm absolutely adoring this. It looks so nice. Why have I never Never made one this nice before. And then I suppose we should even have like a breakfast island up here. And we actually have rustic pendants. So why not use these too? With light, that looks so much better. And then as promised, I thought I could put like a little, not even secret, just like a storage unit under here. We'll start with a basic shape. And there is a point when a person has to say too many plants. It's so much too much too much. I'll just put some spatulas, a few mugs and yeah, perfect kitchen. Next floor. So guys, we have two left, neck and neck, traditional and modern. Just so happened to be my two favorite designs. And we got modern for the bedroom. Oh my gosh, that is so handy once again because we'd already put the modernness in. For the modern floor, we're going all blown modern like you've never seen before. Big window. Yes, please. Okie dokie, smoky. So for, wait, I'm not gonna make the same mistake again. I'm gonna add the stairs first. Well, I say stairs. <laughs> I'm an elevator. Now, I tried to like whistle to make it look like I just called the elevator here, but I can't whistle, so it just sounded really lame. So when I think modern bedroom, actually, I don't know what to think. And look at what you can find. That's such a cute bed, but I'm more about this one. What the hell? So I already know we're gonna need to use a couple of decals for this. The lighting in this room also needs to be unbeatable. So I've never realized you could put LED lights on glass before. Is it just me? Or did you guys also think that it wouldn't let you? And guys, how many times has blocks but gonna do this. It just doesn't like letting me place walls. So we will just be adding a fake wall, I guess. So anyway, the bed is then gonna go against here. I think it still has that modern flair to it. <gasps> Especially if we texture it like this. Hello, where have you been hiding? As many, we're then gonna add lots of pillows and we can also add a really cool, they added quite a new cool clock. Now I really want an alarm clock, guys. Now I'm obsessed with waking up on time. I normally wake up about seven every day and I would actually love an alarm because that would like encourage me even further to wake up every morning. Then a lot of guys and girls, I don't know why I said guys, have like cool sofas in their room when they're really rich and stuff. And then a plant for good measure. This is giving me the vibe of like a teenage room. So all teenage 
we'll have some laundry on there and a little carpet too. So via process of elimination, we worked out this top floor is going to be traditional. And oh yeah, this can be a bathroom. Let's get out the big guns, the gorgeous tiles. I think I'm going to make it a Juliet balcony, which is a balcony which you cannot walk off of. So it just looks like this really. Wow, that is going to be such a gorgeous view out of the bathroom. And I was about to be like, why can't I turn the roof on? <laughs> I forgot to add one. So either side, we're going to have his and hers toilet. I know this is just like the kind of thing you see in like Jeffree Star's house tour. And since it's traditional, that's very similar to Royal, which means return of the panels. Over on this side, I think should be where we have a sink unit. And at risk of copy and pasting, I feel like this would look really good above it. Like, oh yeah, that does. And I feel like I might be overusing this building hack, but I have to add another fountain bathtub, guys. And I guess we can even add like not a closet up here, but perhaps this has towels and stuff for when you get out of the shower. And with that, guys, my six story build challenge has been constructed. Okay, chicken pies, this plot. Oh my gosh. Oh my God. Oh God, I forgot to show it after like floor two, what each value was. Oh well, the final value is 289,000. So guys, if you want to build this for yourself, <laughs> go ahead, it's only 200 grand. I mean, it just looks like your typical build challenge, doesn't it? Just an absolute insane structure. But let's go look around. So floor number one was royal. And I think I got this down to a absolute T. If we like do a little fly around, this feels so much bigger than it really is. Because not only do we have the piano area, like we have this whole side bit as well with these windows getting dressed. It does look rather weird, like we're in an apocalypse outside. But let's focus on the inside, guys. But yeah, I think my favorite part of this room is definitely that you can sit over here. Oh my God. Or rest like an absolute queen on this. Wow. As we go upstairs, by the way, custom stairs. Let's not ignore that. As we go up these custom stairs, we are in the stylish room. So first of all, we are met with like, I don't even know what to call this little beanie area. And then over here is the main stylish room. So I didn't realize you have to be thin as a pin to fit through here. Oh my God, I actually can't fit. There we go. These thighs are too thick. I don't know why I added so many windows in here, but I did. And I really love the TV stand. So this one is a little bit weird to get out of and up to the next one. We do have a balcony, but then we are going up to Bohemian. So in the Bohemian one, we're back to kind of the panels. And we've also got a bit of kids stuff incorporated in here. And then other than the shelf, and the stair unit. This is really the main thing, the dining table and the windows. I'd say this in itself could be like uploaded to Pinterest and it's room for up to eight people, which is stunning. We're going up into Rustic. So this looks like an absolute maze of stairs. But once you're in, this room again is one of my favorites. I've done a wood I never would normally go for, kind of an orangey vibe. But so we can look at our many windows. We also do have a balcony. Let's not ignore our nice swingy chair. And then all the appliances as well. I love of this kitchen. And I feel like lately I've been letting kitchen slip through my fingers. But I feel like I really made up for it on this one. As we go up these stairs, whoa, I've just traveled to the year 2050. This is so futuristic, but so nice. I think this desk is one of the best things I've ever seen. Why is it so modern, but so sleek at the same time? Yes, you are a little bit low, but that's okay. And then over here is our comfy bed and our seat. I love the views though. And then as we go up, I actually treated us to an elevator for the final floor, which is the sea bathroom. So as we look in the bathroom. Oh my gosh. This, as you guys can tell, is like my dream style. Traditional is just what I was born for. Over here is the gorgeous little closet for our towels and robes and stuff. We have our toilet, my beautiful twin sinks where we can like wash our face. Ooh, good skincare routine in Bloxburg, you guys. And then over here, my gorgeous fountain bathtub. So there we have it, guys. That was me building a six story house in Blacksburg. Do comment down below what challenges you want me to do next and my favorite ones I will pick. Thanks to everyone who watched it and I'll see you all next time.